Hi, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done uh, any videos for so long now. So um, I was, what is the reason uh, behind it? I know you all will have that question in your mind. Okay. So before I, uh, uh, I am just reminding you all to subscribe my channel, like, share, comment, and press the notification bell. Okay. So um, when I, that means it was related to the CBT exams, questions and answers and topics. Um, I haven't seen much uh, interest from the people who's watching this channel because I thought maybe you you don't want me to do the videos or you are not interested in watching the videos. So I thought why I want to uh, waste my time uh, to do making all these uh, videos and uh, if people don't have any interest to watch my videos. so. That's why I only concentrate doing uh, in Malayalam videos in my other first, I mean other means first channel. Okay, so um, yesterday I have just uh, go, you know, checked my, checked this channel actually. Um, I have seen lots of response, lots of questions, lots of comments in this channel. So I, I realized that people are still watching my videos and you all are interested in watching my videos even though I, um, I make small videos or uh, um, you know like uh, if I made some mistake you will um, accept my mistake and uh, uh, support me uh, to uh, continue this channel that's why i came back okay so I, I appreciate your support and i hope you will support me uh, further okay i have uh, seen lots of requests uh, to do uh, the videos like uh, the um, oet writing reading uh, speaking and listening and uh, my experience um, uh, cbt and uh, um, the topics of CBT, uh, the life in the UK. There are there were lots of uh, requests for for me to make uh, you know make the new videos. But uh, first time, um, my intention of doing this video is uh, like say a recent incident happened in the UK. So this is only my advice. Uh, you can take it as positive or negative. Um, this is up to you. Okay, um, as you all know, um, UK, um, I like UK uh, government um, made easy uh, process for the people who is applying for the student visa. So um, during the COVID time, UK universities these are faced a lots of crisis because they were not getting any overseas students and uh, um, they really struggled so uh, anyway uh, the government um, will um, government made some you know uh, steps that's uh, very easier for the people who can uh, you know who can apply uh, from overseas to here and uh, uh, many people lost job many people so many uh, bad things happen in the uk as well so many many people cannot afford to um, study in the universities so there were lots of vacancies they so that's why they made lots of uh, um, simple process of getting a visa but the problem is now uh, indian students um, are manipulating these rules um, i mean not only indian I, I think majority of majority of overseas students from india china um, and uh, where uh, philippines actually because uh, um, we all the like asian people have problem find a good job in our own country that's why we are uh, you know searching job in uh, overseas okay in abroad yeah um, now um, you can see in the medias like uh, criticizing about indian students because they made lots of uh, problems here like uh, they and i have uh, seen lots of comments uh, requesting for for uh, agencies details that provide a student visa i am i'm not against i am against it actually because um, i know how uh, difficult uh, for a student visa holder in the uk you know the, li the life in the uk for a 
visa student visa holder is very difficult uh, you know so i i don't uh, really appreciate you to come here as a student visa but if you have a work permit then it's okay you can work and you can earn the money if you work hard you, you can have more, more money um so um, i know many people just dream about to study in the uk and get a uh, degree then you can say like oh I have got a degree from UK it's really proud to say that but uh, there are there were lots of uh, difficult situation you have to uh, face for uh, many people are already faced actually so uh, if you are capable then go forward and take the challenge but uh, don't uh, you know at the end so um, I know uh, there is a lots of uh, vacancies for nurses and senior carers here. Many people came uh, in the UK as a senior care assistant thinking of they can uh, get IELTS or OET fake certificate then they can work here in the UK as a nurse. But one time you will get caught then your whole life will ruin. So don't go for all that criminal activities. Um, because home office are very vigilant nowadays because uh, many many incidents they um, they have got proof that uh, Indian people especially people from Kerala uh, doing this wrong activity so uh, maybe you are innocent but somebody already did something wrong or for any a type of illegal activity okay like uh, uh, many people uh, did the illegal things here and they will get arrested and all so um, if, if you come to UK as a student visa uh, you must re, uh, you know understand your own situation your financial background why you are coming in the UK what is your aim are you coming here in the UK for study or earning the money or you do you have enough uh, you know money to be support uh, to live in the UK you can you afford uh, to maintain a good life here um, so what is your final aim uh, what you wanted to be all these questions you have to answer to yourself but if you are applying uh, a student visa to, in the UK you have to prove that you are able to uh, maintain the cost of living in the UK so you have to provide the bank statement uh, that shows the enough money in your account like so that money you have to keep at least for three months so they can see that money is there for you like it's a huge sum of money if you need to get that money many people what many people do or did like they uh, just uh, um, get the loan from the bank to surrender their property or their uh, house then they were thinking like when you when when they came to the uk they can get that all the um, you know, documents from the bank and they can they are able to work uh, so many hours and they can earn that money and uh, you know they will be fine but it's not that true if you are coming in the uk as a student visa you have to uh, go to the university for uh, i mean five days sorry monday to friday then you have sunday, saturday and sunday available that saturday and sunday you are only allowed to work for 20 hours you can't work more than 20 hours if you are going to work more than 20 hours you will court by the home office okay so it's illegal and if they court you they will cancel your visa and you have to go back to india so then what will happen whatever documents you kept in the bank you are not able to take it and uh, it will be a disaster for you so just remember um, what is your aim why you are coming you know all these questions you have to ask yourself don't give your family a problem um, don't get uh any like you know many people came here as a student visa and when they realize the situation this is the real situation then they cannot uh, speak to their parents 
and they are thinking about what will happen in their future so they commit suicide or they ended up in a uh, life is uh, you know they use alcohol drugs and they addicted to that so don't go for all that situations just analyze yourself you analyze your situations analyze your financial background analyze your aim okay then decide what is wise for you okay then uh, another thing i wanted to say like uh, um, now the student visa you know whoever got the student visa they can bring their husband or their family or family into the uk and even though uh, they are uh, the student visa holder you know uh, not able to work more than 20 hours the dependent uh, were able to dependents were able to uh, work how many hours they were? I think more than 40 hours. So uh, they were initially supporting the, um, you know, uh, the old family. But I heard that uh, the government will change the system, change the role. They are going to stop uh, the dependents to come here or work. So you are losing the uh, financial support from here itself. So it will be very difficult for the uh, people who comes to UK as a student visa. And uh, secondly, what I want to say, the accommodation. The accommodation costs around 650 or 700 to 1500 for the house or the flat or, or the, you know, whatever accommodation you choose for. So, um, what what is the easiest uh, way of, uh, way that people choose is like um, to find a shared accommodation. In the shared accommodation, sometimes people just, uh, um, you know, group of people, um, you know, get take the um, get a rented house like a uh, around three bedroom house. Then they um, shared more than uh, you know people are allowed in that house like more than six or ten like that. Then they share the um, cost of uh, rent bill and everything. So that's the way they uh, just uh, reduce the cost of uh, living there. That means sometimes the accommodation compromises like maybe there is not. Uh, enough uh, space to live for a person or there is no gas there is no um, you know there is not enough equipments there during the winter season you need the radiator and all, all the most of the time because it's very cold here and they were not able to turn it on because it's a, uh, the gas or energy bill electricity so the uh, the house will be uh, you know um, it's not able to uh, leave like it's, it's it may have the condensation mold and the house maybe the structure is damaged i have seen lots of photos like the student accommodation like it's a really uh, like a, a very uh, bad atmosphere um, not enough facilities so why they choose that uh, house because they can't afford to pay more rent that's why they choose it but after all somebody came to see this then they will blame all the landlord so most of the landlords are uh, you know not willing to uh, give the accommodation to the students because they may get the blame afterwards and uh, um, many student visa holders they uh, keep their secrets in their own they don't share with others they they don't they, and they keep away from the people who already a citizen in the uk because they don't want to hear the, any advice that's why uh, because uh, you know many people uh, advise them like uh, you know about the rules and regulation to live in the uk and they don't want to hear them hear their advice and uh, that's why uh, when they are in trouble really really in trouble that is the time they ask for the help at that time maybe there is no one to help them then uh, they will get caught by the people they have to send you know the um, home office uh, just uh, you know send them to uh, send back to the their own country so and just be careful and mindful before come to the uk and um, what else I need to say? I have seen lots of videos, lots of people like say, uh, you can get the loan from here and you can come here, you can work all that, you will get all that money. It's not true because the living cost is very high here. If you're coming into the UK and you, you are only allowed to work 20 hours, you won't be able to uh, pay for your uh, cost of living. Then how uh, how uh, you are able to pay for the, uh, you know, your um 
the student's fee like every year you have to pay the student's fee the first time when you come to the UK the your parents um, will pay for it after that you have to pay for it because the parents may may say that uh, you have you are in the UK you are able to work and you can pay for the student fees then you will struggle so you're not that's what I'm saying you um, you know you won't be able to um, earn that much money to pay for your cost of living then how it and uh, so uh, you know usually the student fees around 25 26 thousand pounds so how you are able to save that much uh, big large amount of money how can you save you are you were not able to say i don't think so otherwise you have to be a uh, high salaried job so um, i mean in the uk there is a uh, shortage occupation list in that type of profession like a nurse nursing professions uh, health care professions all that jobs it's easily filled by overseas uh, people otherwise they uh, prefer to give that type of jobs to the native uh, you know natives people so it's very difficult for us to get the job and uh, many student people came here uh, students visa people uh, came here and working in the KFC uh, or Pizza Hut, McDonald's, all that type, all the shops, and uh, you know um, they work. Uh, they go to the agency and work for some care or casa carer. Um, that's the way they find the money. But if you are going to the agency and you are getting a cash by hand, that is illegal too, um, because you are not able to uh, do that type of job. If something happened, it will affect your visa. So don't do any illegal activities while you are in the UK so I hope this video will be useful for you and uh, um, I hope you know somebody yeah, is thinking to come here in the UK as a student visa you can watch this video and advise the people uh, what will happen what is the life in the UK you uh, may be able to give them some advice and change their uh, decision Okay, so um, if, if you are, um, I'm not disappointing anybody who wanted to come here in the UK as a student visa. If you are financially well settled and your intention is only for the study, uh, you wanted to get a degree from the uh, UK universities, then that's good. Go, go ahead and come here and study well and get the degree and uh, do the job what you are dreamt for. Um, you know there are some of the student visa provides like a stay back so for one year or two year after that if they give the work permit for you to work here then it should be fine so make sure you're if you're coming in the uk assist for the study and you have all the uh, all this facility is already uh, with this visa then it should be fine otherwise please don't come here and waste your life and and ruin your life and uh, you know um, whatever financial situation you have don't ruin that and uh, just uh, uh, you know don't make it zero okay so um bye bye and take care